this problem that this is the problem given by the hacker rank where we have to save the princess so if you see in this uh, there is a princess peach who is trapped in one of the four corner of the square grid so we have a square grid and she has been like in somewhere I'm not in somewhere in the corners of the grid so we have to find that corner in which corner she is and then after that we can see like uh, like how we could save so uh, you are in the center of the grid and can move one step at a time so we can only move one step like either up or down or left or left or right so you can just go move one step okay these things we know what else we know the first line contains an integer n we have an n integer which will already which is already been given this is the size of the grid so it is like 3 to 100 which it can be any size so if we draw it like this if n is equal to 3 then we will have something like this 3 cross 3 grid princess can be here 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 and here okay then this is followed by each cell is denoted by an dash which is an ASCII character ASCII value of 45 okay we got that uh, the M is the bots position and P is the princess position so these all things we know M and P okay so value moves are left right up and down okay so let's draw something clearly over here then it will be easier for us to understand mm, let's take yellow no, it's not visible at all. Black is all okay. So, if we draw something like this, it's in hacker rank challenge. If you want, you can just go into hacker rank in the artificial intelligence center, and there you can find it. So now let's see. Let's come to the code. We have a n and grid already given so we consider m m is like we are taking an m where m is given by n minus 1 divided by 2 so we have a 3 cross 3 3 minus 1 2 2 divided by 2 we have m is equal to 1 ok so why we are taking this m we have to multiply it we, we will get to know this w is an empty string uh, you can name it whatever you want and x we are creating an array where we will save all the positions like where the m is where the p is whatever we have so we create an i from the grid and append it in the name of list so now what we have is this 100 101 02 so we have everything like this we, we got that now i in range of n n is the size of my this grid so 3 n in range of 3 and i and j in we have two values so i will go like this one by one j will go like this one 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 i j i j so this is what for loop will do so first we are, what we are doing is if x is equal x i j is equal to p suppose we are taking some p and i is equal to 0 j is equal to 0 so firstly we are taking this position where p is so what we told what we thought is like if p is here and if i is equal to 0 j is equal to 0 and this position 0 0 getting my point this is if this is equal to p then where we are we are considering my ourselves from here okay w is somewhere here sorry our, our bot our bot is somewhere here okay we are, we are just considering it so m is equal to 1 this time so how much up we can left we can go is either we can go this side or this side okay but we have to reach here so where we can go we can go up and then we can go in the left side or we can go in the left and then 
we can go up two ways we can reach there and how much steps we can take only one step because why because if we take two steps then we are out of this out of this grid so we have to be in this grid that's why we have already taken m is equal to n minus 1 divided by 2 if we have 5 5 minus 1 we will 4 4 times 4 divided by 2 2 so if we have a 5 grid recovery one two three four five one two three four and five so now if you take two over here so one and two third we can take so that's why minus one divided by two okay so what we have done is one times left one times this same way here if the bot is here why we have taken n minus one because it will start from zero one two so if the size is three so three minus one is two so what is this position 0 comma 2 0 comma 2 so if bot is here then what we can take is from here we will go either up then right or right and then up but we bo in both the case we have to take two steps so we can take whatever you want so i have taken right and up same way if the n minus 1 is if p is here n minus 1 like 2 comma 0 and this is 2 comma 2 this is 2 comma 2 2 comma 2 from here we can take from here to here and this is how we can solve the problem hope you like it and let's see how it goes if you have any doubt you can just tell me